icons on this show. Are you guys ready? There's going to be some questions with uh, where you'll have to give a multiple choice answer. I'll go around the horn. Some of the questions will be everybody at once. And then some of the questions will be visual. We'll be posting pictures, and you're going to have to identify those people. All right. Oh. Let's get to it, everybody. Let's start with David. David, really? this is round one. Icons and Trailblazers. What iconic TV series was the first to show a married interracial couple, the first iconic TV series to show a married multicultural couple? Oh, tough one. What's my time on this immediate? It was also one of the first shows to show the lead character who was pregnant playing a pregnant woman on the show. Wow. That's pretty good, David. I gave you a lot there. The Jeffersons. Whoa! The Jeffersons because they had the people downstairs that were the interracial couple, interracial right? Couple. That yeah. was a great uh that was those both that was a great couple. It is wrong though. It's I Love Lucy, the Hispanic uh and uh you know Lucy and her Hispanic husband, they were the first couple and they they did break uh I, I guess you would call it a multicultural uh, uh, barrier in television. Ah, very good. You I got me. Lucy. I owe you one. Shalom. Oh, David. <laughs> I'm so glad I got someone. The first, right out of the gate, we got one wrong. Let's go to Tommy. Tommy, Elon Musk, also thinking of leaving California, right? While Elon Musk is best known for his work with Tesla, of course, and SpaceX, he first made his fortune as co-founder of what company? Is that PayPal, Venmo, or Stark Industries? <laughs> oh, well, pay That's Elon Musk. I know this one. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> David, you see what I did there? <laughs> I mixed it up the right what? way here. And I got, how come I got multiple choice and David didn't? I feel special. Um, I, I wish I knew the answer to this. I know PayPal is uh, Peter Thiel, so that's not Elon Musk. And I feel like it's not Venmo. So what was my third choice? The third one was called Stark Industries. All right. Well, that sounds very Iron Man-ish, but I'm going to go with that. <laughs> it is a Stark Industries. It's Tony Stark from Iron Man. It is PayPal. PayPal? I thought it was Peter yeah. Thiel. Peter Thiel was involved as well, I believe. Oh, co-founder. Uh, co-founder okay. Elon oh, Musk was God. in there. I am loving this. We are getting wrong I'm answers on the first round, and now Casey is so excited. <laughs> but be careful, Casey. Be careful what you wish for. Here we go. Muhammad Ali. He's appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated, or SI as I call it, on 37 different occasions. Second only to this athlete. Is it LeBron James, Michael Phelps, or Michael Jordan? Muhammad Ali is second. I'm gonna go with Michael Jordan. You're gonna go with Michael Jordan. My producers are gonna put the answer up on the screen. Is she right? Yeah, Michael there you go. Jordan, there you go. Whoa. There's ice, <laughs> this usually makes a great a great sound but there's ice in it so it's kind of it's kind of dull oh boy maybe i'll pour out my ice i was going so, to say kobe bryant but then once you said michael jordan i was like duh kobe michael bryant. jordan that's right tommy would you have got that one i would have gotten that one actually yeah i bet david would have got that one too huh yeah you guys mad at me for setting these questions up in this way here we go okay, back. Back. david <laughs> We are going to the very first act it out round here. Before the show, our producers sent you in an email something that you have 60 seconds to act out for me. Okay, you can't use any verbal words, I'm, I guess. No verbal I'm, cues. No verbal cues. This is like a bit of charades or anything you can do physically to act out that word or phrase or thing. Uh, that was sent to you in an email. I have no idea what it is, but I would be here to guess. No, you won't. Because I have no idea guessing? how to Are do this Are we all guessing? One. We're being quiet. Yeah, you can guess if you want. But David seems to be stuck here. He doesn't know how to act it out. David, 
I I know you and I took a, a pantomime class together years yes. ago. So I know you're very good with physical, uh, physical comedy and everything else. All right. Uh, oh, this one's really hard to do sitting down. What would you do to act it out, David? <laughs> All right, here we go. Get, yeah. I the audience has to forgive this one because I blame Shalou. Yep. First, you need a hair flip. Well, I can't talk, right? Okay, so. Okay, hair flip. Um, oh, oh, okay. It's a, uh, someone is boxing. Uh, it's, it's, they're hacking. It's a hair flip and it's hacking. Uh, I, I could let Tommy and Casey in on this if, oh, wait, it's. Hacking. It's like an ice pick. Is it Fargo? It, <laughs> it's hair. What is the hair flip, I ladies? Like he's stabbing someone. What is the he hair? He's hitting and stabbing. It's a hair flip and then a stick. Oh, wait, is it Psycho? Psych, the movie Psycho. No. No. I don't know. if how, Who wins this? Do I win if I guess it or does David win if he's able to? Uh, if, if I stump you because I'm a lousy actor at this one. <laughs> well, you're punching. Is it, it could it possibly be uh, Rocky or something related to the. the I don't get the hair a, flip, though. I don't Rocky, get the hair. I'd be doing this. Yeah, right, right. I'd be Apollo Creed. <laughs> yeah. It does look yeah. like you're punching, though, David, whatever you're doing there. Is it the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz? No, he has no heart. Okay, David, you stumped us. What is it? I stumped myself. Buffy yeah. the Vampire Slayer. I was trying to say she was fighting the vampires. Oh, she's stabbing. But I did the hair. You should have done a hair. vampire thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know this. Yeah. I, I don't Wait know you see what we have. Christina Applegate. Do I get any, any <laughs> whatever her name I don't was. know. To tell you the truth, with this acted out, I'm not sure. It is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm not sure if... Um, I guess yeah. If you if we were to guess it, then David, you would have gotten the point. So it was just another opportunity for a a point for David. But we're gonna have to say it. no to that one. Okay, <sighs> let's keep moving it along here. Tommy, who was the first black female stand up comedian to host Saturday Night Live? First black female comedian to host Saturday Night Live. Is it Wanda Sykes, Tiffany Haddish? Or Leslie Jones. Oh boy, I feel like this was the first. It was the first. Mm, Pim's cup. These are very good. <laughs> I want to say it's Wanda Sykes because it's that would make sense because it'd be the first. Tiffany Haddish has only been popular for probably three, four years now. She's very so young. I wouldn't right? think it would be her and Leslie Jones. Oh, but I don't. Mm. Tiffany is the when only would one. When Leslie would... Jones have done it? I, I mean, she also, was on the show, right? She was on the show, but she, of course, she could have come back to host it, I guess. After right. Her, I don't so. think they let cast members just host, though. So I feel like I'm just going to go with. I feel like I'm just going to go with Tiffany Haddish because I feel like she would actually be someone that would have hosted it. Tiffany Haddish. The answer is, yeah. Yes. Tiffany Good Haddish. job. That is something, Tommy. I. I really thought you were going for a Wanda Cheers. Sykes. Because you're right. Wanda has been around a while, and it seems like she would have, at some point, hosted the show. I no, no. That. It was Tiffany Haddish. Okay. So Tommy's got a point on the board. I know somebody's keeping score, even if it's not me. It's always hard to keep score while we're having our cocktails. So we have some experts somewhere <laughs> off in the ether somewhere. They're keeping score. Grab your pens, guys. This is a... Full on round, everybody's playing here. And you're gonna write down your answer with your Sharpie, and then when I tell you, you can hold it up, okay? What iconic broadcaster and Fox News personality is an Emmy and Peabody award-winning journalist who's also an avid sailor who has taken his boat, the Voyager, 1400 miles up the Amazon River. Write down your answers. Steve is the only one who knows this. It's not David. I'll tell you that. David, he may, he <laughs> I may have been it. on the Amazon. I wouldn't put it past him, but we are talking about someone else. And do they work for and Fox now? They do. They do. They do. Indeed. One more hint. 
Write it down. Well, let's see. Iconic broadcaster and Fox News personality. Uh, that's a, Those are pretty good hints in there. Iconic broadcaster, Fox News personality, Emmy and Peabody Award winning. When and then Avid you? Sailor and The Boat, The Voyager. Where's The Boat? Where is it? Where where is it docked? Yeah. Where does this personality keep their boat? That's that would be that might be a giveaway, Tommy. It's not California. I'm that's Casey. I'm Tommy. I know you're Tommy. I I thought it was I thought it was you who was who asked. I was looking at you, Tommy. I thought you were the one who asked. <laughs> no. no, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to show. It's I have I'm I I'm not confident in my I'm, answer, but I'm ready to go. I should have known. Casey is a real qualifier. She likes to qualify the question. She always wants more information. Okay, hold up your papers, everybody. Hold up your papers. Geraldo Rivera is right. Yes. All right. <laughs> Yes. You want to know where he keeps his boat and the combination lock? Yeah. <laughs> that is interesting. Right. Casey, why did you want that information? Do you Are you familiar with uh, the, the, no, boat, the boat slips of America? No, not not much. Not too well. No, I don't know why. I, mean, you know I just thought it would slip up. I thought it was almost an anti-hint. His boat, the Voyager. I mean, it seems like Geraldo would have more of a snazzy name to his boat, don't you think? Maybe. Than the Voyager, that just seems like uh, it doesn't seem very Geraldo to me. I thought he would have a, I don't know, a more risque name or something to his, to his boat. <laughs> All right, that's round one, guys. We're doing great. Are we having a good time? Take a sip, everybody. Folks at home, they they drink <laughs> along with us. Still waiting for the questions on anything on Bravo, mm. but I feel like that's not going to happen, Tom. So you know, like if, if there's a, a Bravo fight. question, it's probably going to go to David Webb. I'll tell you that right now. Really? Are you guys ready <laughs> for the photo round? The photo round. Okay. We're going to be putting up photographs, and you're going to have to identify the personalities in these photographs. And this is the iconic pets in film and television. Iconic pets. So let's start with, we are on, I believe if we go in order, we're on Casey now because the last was a, a full on round. Casey. But we have a special delivery for Casey. What is, hold on a second. Hold on here, what do we got? Oh my God, from the happy hey. hour crew. I ate donuts for breakfast. Oh my Guys, God. Guys, are we aware that it is a special day for Casey today? This is my yes. special, thank you guys. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I'm sorry if that just like broke everyone's eardrums. That Whiteful. is beautiful. Wow. Oh, a wonderful nice. birthday. Is that an ice cream cake? cake. Ice cream cake. Cold from cold. Oh my I'm gosh, gonna that is going to be a mess. It's going to melt. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it's your birthday, Casey. Everybody, happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to happy you. Birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear, dear Casey. Casey. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. <laughs> Now, hang on. I said I'd do this if we're going to celebrate our birthday. What's David doing now? Is he doing another act it out? <laughs> what you got there? I'm going to have a toast for you. Oh, thank you. And because it's your birthday, I went with the Spanish cava. So there you go. That Perfect. is beautiful. And you have two glasses, David? You're really going to do the, the double glasses? The right way to do it is I've got to clink one for her and one for me and drink that. them both. Oh, my gosh. That is fantastic. If only you were in a bathtub with suds all around you, that would complete the image. The <laughs> Happy birthday, Casey. Thank you. So you're old enough to drink today. Is that right? Uh, yes, thank you. Yes, 21. <laughs> this is there you go. Thank Happy you. birthday, Casey. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, look at that. We got graphics and everything. Wow, guys. Wait a minute. Are those, are those, are those, those are cupcakes. I thought it was someone giving the finger there. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look at the graphic. It looks like. It look <laughs> and now I'll just, there we go. Thank you, guys. That was very nice. I'm going to have a bellyache tomorrow after this. It's beautiful. I, I love an ice cream cake. Was it from Carvel? 
No, it, I've had Carvel. This is a Cold Stone one, so I have never had that before. Ooh, Cold Stone Creamery, good That's stuff. True. Those are so good. Yeah. So are you guys ready for the iconic pets in film and TV? This is a visual photographic round. Casey, you're going to start it off. Okay. Put up the picture. Oh, Ooh. I know. That's what? Do I write it down? No. No, no, it's you can just say it. Yell it out. Beethoven. What is it? It's Beethoven. Beethoven, you're right. Boom. She's got a point. It's her know. birthday. Okay, David. Boom. All right. Name this pet, David. Uh, all, uh, how to Train Your Dragons. I okay, we'll be. take that. We'll, we'll take, take that. The movie. I know Toothless. It's Toothless <laughs> from How to Train Your Dragon. That's great. Okay. I'm a child at heart. Oh, my gosh. I think Tommy's going to be mad at me. Boom. Let's do this one. Uh, Salem, Sabrina Whoa! the Teenage Witch. Yeah! Dude! Finally, something from my generation it's that in I the, You're in the demo for that, Tommy. Oh. I didn't know who that was. Really? Oh, yeah. I know my Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Come on. Yeah. Really. Like Nickelodeon. Disney Nickelodeon. I know it all. Bravo. <laughs> okay. Here's one for Casey. This is my generation. Boom! Lassie! Yeah. Oh, Lassie. Lassie. Wonderful <laughs> colleague. Lassie, go movie. home. <laughs> The, uh, David, <laughs> bring it up. Ah, oh, that's the Jetsons, and it's... Oh. Sing the song, David. You'll get it if you go through the lyrics. Daughter Judy. Bum, 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 bum. Their dog. Ah. Oh. It's killing me now. Daughter. It's out in space, remember? Outer space. Everything's a space reference on this show. I know. I just can't remember it. I can't remember it. Yeah. I love the Jetsons. We got them. It's Astro. Astro. Mm. Uh, Rastro. 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 Right? Rastro. <laughs> okay. I remember the words. <laughs> Not the name. Let's go to uh, Tommy. All right. Clifford, oh, yeah. the big red dog. Clifford, the big red dog. That's right. And there he is in uh, parade form in the uh, like a balloon. Casey, okay, so that's a point for Tommy. Casey, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm blowing through these here. My oh, dog. Okay. Yep. Who is the dog? Oh, this yep. is... I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Skip. It's not Skip. Oh. No, really? It's not Skip. You the dog from Frasier, but I don't know what its name is either. We come running out, and 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 uh, Grandpa was in the chair there. Mm -hmm. it's, Eddie, Eddie. How think you could check that dog's movie, uh, IMBD, for that dog? Because that looks a lot like my dog, Skip. It does. That's it. He reminds us of... It's her uh, birthday. She gets Skip. <laughs> but it was with Frasier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was another movie. All right. David. Oh, I have no idea on this one. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? We're we're one ahead. I actually had. Uh, OK, so I, just to my producer, I had a I had a different um, pet before this one. So this one's going to go to David. David, who was the dog in Annie? You know it. No, I saw the play. It was too long ago. I don't know. Who I, this is. I bet Casey knows this one, right? I don't know. I don't know. But for some reason, the powers that be are telling me lucky. It's not Lucky. Okay. It looks like the dog Lucky from Dr. Wait a minute. Pico. Tommy has to know this one. I don't know the dog and Annie. I knew it was Annie, but I don't know the dog's name. Well, oh, that's interesting. I Daddy Warbucks. I, got I that almost part, thought right? this one was a gimme. It's Sandy. Sandy. Oh. Sandy. Sandy. I would, I would have, have never that. gotten that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're moving on to. Uh... Oh, this one's easy. Come on, really. Okay, this is for Tommy. Tommy, who is it? <laughs> Alf. Alf. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's Alf. Uh, good. Is that you? Didn't watch that show? That, that that that's not in your demo, right? No, but I I'm aware of it. Okay. I think that they used to use them for commercials. I feel like he was in AT and T commercials when I was young. So yeah. interesting. With Terry Bradshaw. That's just ringing a, a memory, <laughs> ringing a vivid memory. I actually know a lot of TV stuff, just not from <laughs> not when you show me black and whites. <laughs> yes, yes. So Casey, what do we got here? Who is that? Oh, God. What's the, the name of the dog. pet on The Simpsons? Uh, Ralph. No idea. Literally no idea. You know what? I I wouldn't have got this one either. 
but it's such an iconic name. That is Santa's little helper. Santa's little Sorry. helper. No. Yeah. David. All right. I'm going to take a sip for this one. Yeah, here we go. Got another uh, photo. There we go. What do we What do we have? There? Oh, I know this one. So uh, easy. I know this would be like Tom. I knew Tommy would know this one. I have no idea who this one is. Bro, this is like the best movie ever. It's a great movie. Both of you ladies know who this is, right? Tell David. Go ahead, Tommy. It's Balto, right? From All Dogs Go to Heaven. Oh, Balto, that's right. I never I saw the point? movie. I never. Yeah, give her. It's yours. Take it away. You know what? <laughs> I am going. Should I give that to? to but wait a minute, Casey. Knew I said it just points. so confidently, and I just knew it right away. And I even gave you the movie it was from, so I feel like I get that point. I know. Bonus round. I'm yeah. gonna give that one to Tommy. Yeah, let's. She deserves it. She deserves it because uh, I was I was mean to her in the last round, and now we are on to our second act it out. Okay, we really put David through the ringer here, and now it's time for Tommy Laren to show us some of her shields and Yarnell physical prowess, okay? I'm putting this in the freezer quickly. What was the, oh, she's good, it's good. She's got a freezer, her ice cream cake. I mean, I'm gonna have to go to my fridge to be able to do this and we can't talk at all. So I just wanna preface this with, I'm gonna act out the words, not the movie because I've never seen the movie. I see, no, no, that's how you do it. For instance, if it were, if it were gone with the wind, you could be like, that would be a lot easier than what okay. you guys gave me. Yeah, so, so you, can, you can do it however you now. like. You could do it with charades. You know, you can do like three words, first word, whatever okay. you want to do. Okay, all right. And you guys can help me out here, okay? Three right. words. It's three words. Okay. Um, I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't talk at all, okay. Can you the car? Okay, set. So Second word. Um, Second word. Actually, Second word. Guitar, actually, no, guitar. What are those? Leaf. Pineapples. Guitar leaf. No, but let's let's just go into the family of leaf. fruit here. It's a yeah, it's leaf. Co Stem, green, foliage, green, 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 um, green. The green okay. mile. The green mile. No, I got three it. Words. Um, that's three words. The green mile. I think I got I'm, it. You didn't, but can someone put me out of my misery? Okay, and also, I'm showing you a, a shape of a- A heart? A vegetable. A tomato. Oh. To fried green tomatoes? Fried green tomatoes. That's good. There we go. I also cheated because I talked through that, but I don't know how else you're supposed to do that. I also thought this was Yeah, now you know how I feel about <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah, you did. Slash. Fried green tomatoes. How the <laughs> hell am I supposed to act that out? You Get a frying pan. It's I don't know. funny, though. I might have. Go to the kitchen and follow, we'll follow you. It's funny, Tommy, that you avoided fried because I would have started with frying. I would have fried something. That would well, have yeah, been I my... mean, I don't know what. But you went with green. Like frying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a bad day. I guess this, this is I surprising. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of things with green in them. I, I mean, fried green tomatoes. Uh, now, you know what we're going to do? Casey's going to get a point for that. Casey, yeah. you get a point. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's yours. Okay. Enjoy it. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> we are on to round three. Can you believe? Where does the time go when we're having cocktails and having fun, huh? The uh, when did you when did you leave California, Tommy? I didn't even know this until right now. Uh, April, right in the heart of oh my gosh, what pandemic. A, yeah, I mean, I feel I don't want to say you got out just in time, but I feel like that's a great way to get you got settled in, and that's what you want to do. Imagine having if you had a move planned and you had to move in June, that would have been terrible. Uh, it was pretty rough in April too. We were a stay-at-home order. Oh yeah. Try try moving during the stay at home order. Yeah. Just make it across the state line. Tell them to catch you. <laughs> yeah. Just flew to Nashville, but and everything in Nashville was closed. So try to move into a new house when everything's closed. Do a yeah. lot of shopping at Walmart and Target. Have yeah. you been doing like a ton of home projects? 
Uh, no, Nashville's basically open now. So my project has just been just destroying all the men in Nashville, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the terror of the redneck Riviera. Here she comes. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Round three, speaking of Nashville, is called Music Icons. We are on Casey now, if I'm not incorrect. Casey, here's your question. Germ, Loopy, and Mother Monster. <clears throat> germ, like germ, you know, like a germ, germaphobe? Germ. Germ, Loopy, and Mother Monster are all nicknames for what iconic Grammy and Oscar winner? Grammy and Oscar. And I'm uh, talking like... Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is... Right. You get a little. I didn't know that, but I just know that she calls her people monsters. I mean, why does she need any other nicknames? Her name's Lady Gaga. Yeah, I don't know about Germ. That's kind of bizarre. I didn't know that Germ one either. That was. Yeah. I thought that was someone's name, like Germ Goopy or whatever that was. Like a full name. Yeah. Mother Monster. Very strange. Well, you got it, Casey. And uh, we're on to David. David uh -oh. in 1993. Uh, your heyday is, is from, from no, whatever. This is, this is like <laughs> my prime. In 1993, Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, and Ryan Gosling did what together in 1993? What did Something they do together? that if it comes out in a movie will never be shown to the public? I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's so funny. I bet you anything oh, yeah. that Casey and Tommy both know this. In yeah. 1993, Timberlake yeah, Aguilera. David. So what are, what's a good hint to give him, ladies? Uh, they were very young at the time. 93, it, it wasn't that long ago to you and me, David, but for them, mm. Christine Aguilera, Britney Spears, Ryan Gosling. Wait, I think I know what it is. Timberlake. Well, I know oh, that I know. Britney Spears was in 94. Don't say it yet, Tommy. In New Orleans, but give I can't David go. A hint. <laughs> give Tom, David a hint, Tommy. Tom, is this a good hint? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good hint. That looks like mouse ears. <laughs> That's what that looks like. Uh, Mickey Mouse Club. Mickey Mouse Club is right. <laughs> I, like, I owe you, Casey. <laughs> Wait a minute. David, you didn't know that? You didn't know the legend of uh, all those people? Did you know Justin Timberlake was in the Mickey Mouse Club? Ryan Gosling? No, but I know Britney yeah. Spears was at Kenny's Key West in 1994, hanging out in the bar in New mm -hmm. Orleans, Fat City. David, oh, I, I somehow, I don't know how story. it happens, but it always, whenever we're talking, it doesn't matter if it's on a show where we're talking politics or on the quiz show or whatever, it always comes back to you in a bar at some point. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're on to Tommy. We are on to All Tommy. Right. I can't believe Casey is such a festive home now. She's got the balloons. She's got the yeah. cake. Tommy, here we go. That's every day for Casey. <laughs> The first album to ever enter the Billboard Top 200 charts at number one was Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. Does that ring a bell, Tommy? Captain no. Fantastic. I'm going to give you a hint. It was in the 70s. <laughs> well. Okay. They made a so, movie about his life? No. <laughs> so, Billboard Top 200 charts. And it, it, it reached number one. What was the art? Who was the artist? Was it Elton John, Sammy Davis Jr., or Lionel Richie? Uh, Casey, do you know? No. I know. I'm going to go seven then. You yeah. know what? We usually have a great sense of competition on this show. People are cutthroat, they're undermining <laughs> each other. You guys are working as a group, and I love it. That's right. We're unified. I mean, yeah. the only thing. I'm flamboyant. Um, <laughs> brown Dirt I'm, Cowboy. I'm going to. Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. They made a movie cowboy. about the life. It's flamboyant. The only one I know that they made a movie about was Elton John, but I don't feel like that was Brown Dirt <laughs> Cowboy. So I'm just going to so, go with Elton John because that's the only one I know that has a movie about him. Elton John. Elton John yes! is the <laughs> correct answer. All right, I'll take it. Strange name for an album. Strange Captain man. Fantastic and the Brown Dirt <laughs> Cowboy. That was a, David knew that one. That was right in his wheelhouse. 
so good job. Casey, we're on to you. How is this? Is this is this a is this a good birthday for you or is it a is it a um a letdown of a birthday? How would you rate this and on, on, on all your birthdays? This isn't my question, right? No, no, I'm just asking you. Um I mean, is this your where you what what you would want for your birthday? Yes. Hanging around, having cocktails having online. Having cocktails with you guys and all Very and everyone was watching. Absolutely. Good. That's good to hear. Which eight-time Grammy winner played 27 different instruments on their debut album? The album was called For You. I'm not even going to give you a multiple choice. Does that bother you? Yeah. 27 different instruments. That doesn't, it doesn't jump out at you? No. Is that bad? Do you guys know this? Eight it's an eight-time Grammy winner. Eight time Grammy winner. And let me, uh, okay, if you need a hint, the album was released in 1978, which is not a great hint. <laughs> Why do you give us these? We it's don't know. It's not a great know. hint because I, I feel like 1978 would throw you off, but that was, it was, this was the what very you- beginning of this iconic artist's career. Remember iconic, we're talking about icons here. This um, this artist also wrote hits for other performers, including, and I want you to listen to these, The Bangles, the song was Manic Monday, I Feel For You, for Chaka Khan, and Nothing Compares To You, for Sinead O'Connor. This artist wrote all those songs. I don't, I don't know. I know David must know it at this point, right? My parents are going to tell me probably. <laughs> I'm starting to get an idea. This artist is Steven, no longer with know? us, Casey. No longer with us. I know the songs. I got to work my way backwards to the artist. Is it a boy or girl? It's a man. <laughs> I can give you that one. That's true. People are screaming at their computer screens right now, oh, Casey. It's just killing me. I'm this sure they me. are. I have no clue. Like a prince? You're close. Prince is right. Prince is right. (laughs) I had no idea. That is a that was a good. I'm a bad guesser usually. Nothing compares to you. A huge hit for Sinead O'Connor, written by written by Prince. I didn't know the other ones. I was I did not know the other songs were written by Prince. If we had given you any other hints, Purple Rain. That would have been easy. Uh, you know, any of that stuff, it would have. Uh, I would die for you. Would have all been the give, good yeah. ones. Yeah. Give away. You didn't know it, David. Yeah. Now you just know it. I Let's go on to sure. David now. David, I don't oh. know if this is. Uh, I don't know if this is a David Webb question or Do not. I get something from the '90s now. Okay, well, just to how clip about it this? up with Tommy. How about this? <laughs> what now? Iconic performer was the youngest artist to write a number one country song the she wrote artist. it she wrote it when she was 14 years old oh you know this dolly parton 100p dolly parton that's your answer dolly parton <laughs> no i don't know i was joking let me see okay. youngest performer to write a number one country song oh i thought this was tommy sorry mm. tommy knows this one i'm fairly certain i know this one <sighs> Youngest performer. Mm. Not a big and, country and had, guy. And I'll say this. Here's a, here's a hint, and I don't think this is too too obvious of a hint. This performer has had many hits on the not country charts. Since Come then. on, David. Shania Twain. Shania Twain, put it up there. Come on. No, it's nope. ah! <laughs> You should have just said she now hates America. <laughs> okay, that there would have been go. an easy one to get. Yeah. He yeah. does like cats, though, so I gotta be with her. I gotta stand with her in solidarity on that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm the crazy cat lady. Taylor Swift started out. Did you know, David? She really started out as a country artist. Kind of did, but you're right. Yeah. She hates America, so she's kind of off my list. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Okay, now we're on to Tommy here. Tommy, over the years, this is great because. I really feel like I'm playing on people's weaknesses, playing against strengths. Great. Which, yeah. 
Yeah. Why don't we all play against Tom? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. All right. There so I don't know. You may, this may be, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a hard version of it. And if it's ridiculously hard, I'm going to make it a little bit easier, but here we okay. go. Okay. There, over the years, there have been a total of eight members of the Rolling Stones because some people in the Stones have, they came and went, some died, some uh, moved on. There were eight members of the Rolling Stones throughout their history. I want you to name for me two <laughs> artists from the Rolling Stones, not Mick Jagger or Keith Richards. So you can't say Mick Jagger or Keith Richards. Name two of the other. Who's this question for? It's for, for me, and I have no. All right, so no let's help her out, Casey. Okay, wait. One, home you've got to knock on. Homegirl's out. Okay, so. David, what I'm going to do with Tommy is I'm going to say I'm going to make it an easier version of that, okay? Okay. Because that one did seem very difficult to me for you to name two members of the Rolling Stones. Now, if I had said two members of the Rolling Stones and, and I didn't mention that you couldn't say Mick Jagger or Keith Richards, would you have said Mick Jagger and Keith Richards? I would have said Mick Jagger. I wouldn't have said Keith Richards. I, okay. But I don't think those Mick Jagger. Is I that. gave you a hint for the other one. You've got a knock on... Wood. Ronnie Wood. Okay. okay. Now, David, let's, <laughs> let's do the – I'm going to do an a, a uh, an easier version, including a multiple choice. All right. Okay. okay I still am not going to get it, but – Okay. Which of, these, which of these men were in the Rolling Stones? Bill Wyman, Joe Perry, or Stevie Ray Vaughan? Bill Wyman, Joe Perry, or Stevie Ray Vaughan? Who was in the Rolling Stones? Uh, David, that's that's pretty good, right? <laughs> that's pretty good. By process why, of elimination. Why, who do I think of? Bill why? Wyman. Bill there Wyman. You go. Joe Perry. Bill Wyman, because that's what David said, and I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> what is this? Number one. Number one. Bill Wyman is right. Tommy, you get the point. Bill Wyman is right. Okay, I, I don't deserve that point, but I'll take it anyway. I know, but you know, I have to give it to you because I, I, I'm not the one who was helping you. David did help you. David helped you with Ron Wood. David, I'm sure David could go all through all eight and tell me when they entered the band and when they left. I could tell you stories about Stevie Ray Vaughan. I was on the last tour with him. We won't even get into the other one. Wow. <laughs> That's right. So Ron Wood, Bill Wyman, uh, Brian James, Charlie Watts, Mick Charlie. Taylor. They were all in the Rolling Stones. Okay, let's go to Casey. Casey, in Martin Scorsese's epic 1988 drama, The Last Temptation of Christ, what iconic rock star played... Pontius Pilate. You know this, Tommy? No. Oh. I think it's funny because it's like <laughs> no shot. Pontius um, Pilate. Pontius Pilate. Who was it? Kurt Cobain, David Bowie, or Freddie Mercury? Oh, this okay. is Martin Scorsese. So those are all those are all <laughs> rock stars. Kurt Cobain. I feel like I could get it now, but Kurt yeah. Cobain, David Bowie, Freddie Mercury. Tommy. They're all rock stars, but who was the rock star who played Pontius Pilate in The Last Temptation? So I'm going to give her the hint because I'm cheating on behalf of Tommy, but this rock star achieved a certain level of fame. Oh, that's good. Dude. No, they all. David, you're the best with these hints. I love it. Well, Tommy doesn't even know that one. That I, I feel like I know who it is because I think there was only one of them that was actually acting. Uh, yeah, Ziggy. <laughs> I don't get David. Kurt Cobain, David Bowie, or Freddie Mercury? Tommy. I would I would say Bowie, but that's just because like he's the only one I know that was in movies. But maybe Freddie Mercury was too. So I don't feel like it's Kurt Cobain. What David, do you, do you know? I know. David definitely knows. That. David keeps throwing hints out. He, he's going through the whole the library of songs. <laughs> this this actor uh, appeared um, on Broadway. Appeared in several films. Okay, let's just go with Bowie then. David Bowie, is it right, David? Yes. Yes, it is. Thank you. 
And his drummer, Carlos Alomar, lives within a shadow of Fox News. Really? Yes. That is, wow. Uh, that is interesting. Little music trivia. Carlos lives right in the shadow of the city. You know what, David? Since you're a Bowie expert, I'm going to go off the charts here, and we're going to do a, a rather difficult David Bowie question for David Webb. What do you think of that? Oh, good. See, this is what happens when I try to help. There we go. What was the name of the album that introduced us to David Bowie's glamour-obsessed British dandy alter ego? Was it Hunky Dory, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust, or Black Star? Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust. And the spiders from Mars. Mars. Let's see it. <laughs> That's right. No. <laughs> Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust. That's right. David, That's you cool. truly yeah. are. Can you include more like Hunger Games or like Bravo? Oh, or you want a Hunger Games, Games reference, huh? Ah. Something just 92 on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because the, like, for instance, Tommy, you knew that one. By process of elimination, you got David Bowie. You would have known that. Because he was in a he was in kind of a kids movie once, like it was called The Labyrinth, I think. Yes. Yeah. I remember him being in that. So I was like, yes. I think he's an actor. Yep, he is. He did several films. And uh what was the uh Mr. Something about Mr. Lawrence? He 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 played a number of uh Oh yeah. Good night, Mr. Lawrence, or something like that. It was a war film. He also played the Elephant Man uh for a run on Broadway. I knew And I knew he and Mick Jagger knew each other very well. That's true. So we are now on another Act It Out. Casey, you haven't done it yet, right? Good luck. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? Oh, I have a plan. I already thought this out. I'm opening up my birthday present, though. We did. We're kind of out of order because we're actually on Tommy now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tommy. Um, after. I'm going to go to Tommy after. My dog is here, by the way. <laughs> Say hello to my dog. Oh, what's his name? Uh -huh. Her name's Coda. Oh, dog yeah. Break. Coda. There we go. What what uh, what kind of dog is that? She's a little Chihuahua mutt. Yeah, she's very yeah. perky. Yeah. His ears up. A very perky dog, but not very barky, right? It's, it's kind of a quiet. No, dog. or she's she's keeping calm right now. Yeah, she's pawing me because she's like, <laughs> "What time is it?" <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, as here long we go. She's pawing, not peeing. You yeah, ready? Exactly. <laughs> Act it out, Casey. You okay. had uh, the phrase or word or icon, okay. whatever it was, I'm was say, emailed say, to you. Good for. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, can you read that? You can't, can't read Lone Star, but I don't know. Lone okay. Star. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's like, that's like Lone Star State. That's Texas. Don't okay. mess with Texas. Okay. All right. Okay. So I guess she's not breaking the rules. She's not talking. Hold on, I have to turn this out. Chainsaw. Texas Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Massacre. Oh, whoa, whoa. Boom, <laughs> boom. That was good. That was a good one. And I guess, you know, birthday girl. somebody might would think that was cheating that she wrote something on a hat, but I, no, I, I, asked, I didn't. I asked pregame if I could use props, and they said, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Uh, that was great. And I love the chainsaw. That is a winner. I mean, we got that in like 10 seconds. So you get a point, Casey. I do? Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would also just like to say that everyone had things that were easy to act out. How do you act out fried green tomatoes? Yeah, I know. I act out a blonde vampire stab. Oh, you, could, you could slay something. You can chainsaw something. Fried green tomatoes, really, about a bunch of old women. Yeah, point I mean, I just needed to bring a frying pan and a green tomato. I'm just kidding. It's yeah. true. I if, had so if you don't win to today, today, Tommy, you do have. You could you could file a complaint. I yeah. to file a complaint. <laughs> the game show commission is available at one eight hundred. Call <laughs> us. <laughs> okay, grab your pens, guys. This is a all in round. All in. All right. Which Madonna song? mentions Hollywood icons. It's a really easy, I mean, I don't know if it's an easy one. Which Madonna song mentions several Hollywood icons? I am you want a choice? Mm -hmm. I thought this was an easy one. Do you guys don't think it's easy? 
No, we don't. Can we throw this one back? You got a lot of songs. No, let's throw it back. We're going to throw it back. I only know two Madonna songs, so. Oh. She, she mentioned Justin Timberlake okay. at one point. Let me go through the song in my head. She mentions Hollywood icons like um, Fred Astaire, Greta Garbo. I believe she says, Greta Garbo, Fred Astaire walked on air. That's the line from it. Okay, Fred Astaire walked on air. What's the song? Write it down. Oh, That's the only hit you get. Um, at me. I only know two Madonna songs, so it's just going to have to be. Rita Hayworth gave good face, I believe, is one of the lines from Rita the song. I'm just, I, I'm just from memory. How many words are in the title? Uh, I can't believe you guys don't know this. It might be Madonna's most famous song. Okay. I don't know if it is or not. I'm, all, I'm just going to guess. That depends on the era. Now? Ready? Like a virgin. Did you, did you, have you all written it down? Mm-hmm. Hold it up. Tommy's right. I didn't see. Yes. Did, you, did you guys have it right? Vogue. You're such a Vogue, yes. Tommy. Vogue. They had style. They had uh, grace. Yeah. Rita Hayworth gave good face. Good right. face, yeah. Okay. When you right, I'm drinking Casey's champagne now. <laughs> Yay, point oh, for yeah. Oh, no, they wrote it down for me. Greta Garbo, Anne Monroe, Dietrich and DiMaggio, Maggio. Marlon Brando, Jimmy Dean, on the cover of a magazine. A magazine. Grace, yes. Car a magazine they Grace Kelly, it. Harlow Jean, picture of a beauty queen. Okay. Well, good job. I don't know who else got it. Did you get it, David? No, I didn't get it. Casey? He went a circle. I put up my blank piece of paper. Okay. So, Tommy, you ran away with that one. Pretty good. Okay, we are all right. right now because we only have 10 minutes left. I know we do, and we're gonna rifle through it. This is called the speed round. I'm gonna give you the name of a famous couple, and you have to tell me what film or TV that they're from. This is kind of a rapid fire round, so I'm gonna be coming at you like boom, boom, boom. Okay, do we all say it at once? No, no, I'm gonna go to you individually. Oh. So we'll start with uh. David. So, do you understand, guys? I give you the couple, you give me the movie. It's yeah. Tommy's turn. What is it, Casey? It's Tommy's turn. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, because you said it was her turn after my turn. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he's trying to slight me turns because he knows I'm winning. It's okay. Gonna... It's all right, Tom. Well, you know what? Everybody has, in this round, everybody has a, um, a, everyone gets, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions go to each of you. You each get seven questions. Oh, seven so I'm just going to start, I'm going to start yeah. with David because I wrote these, I wrote, David, Tommy, Casey, David, Tommy, Casey. So I'll start okay. with David. Okay, here we go. Right. I give you the couple, you give me the movie. You got it? All right. Here we go. David, Jack and Rose. No idea. Last night. Whoa! Last night. No what? idea. Titanic. I know. Titanic. You ladies know it. This is the rapid fire. On. It's what? What is it, ladies? Titanic. 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 Okay, Tommy, Buttercup and Wesley. <laughs> Buttercup. True love. The, the movie? The yeah. Princess the Bride? Movie? Princess, Princess Bride. Bride. You got it. Boom. You got it. I got, how come I got that one? I know. You should have, David. That movie's a weird movie, man. <laughs> it's a Casey. great movie. And Casey. Ego Montoya. <laughs> Sandy Olsen and Grace. Danny Zuko. Grace, Grace. Grace, Grace. Grace. Right. Grace. Back to David. Moira and Johnny. <gasps> oh, I got nothing. I got Shit. nothing. Shit. Moira Shit. and Johnny. Shit. What is it? Ladies, tell them. Shit's crazy. I don't watch it, but that's she's... right. Oh my yeah, God, I never heard of it. So good. So Tommy, good. Tommy, Anastasia and Christiana. Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh boy, boom! Fifty Shades of Grey. You got it. I'm gonna get one from the fifties right now. Casey, <laughs> even earlier than that. <laughs> Red, <gasps> oh, oh, come on. Red Oh come on, on. really? Yeah. <laughs> Say you know you know the classics. David, I know David, Niles and Daphne. Niles with an N and Daphne. I have Fraser. You know, Fraser. There you go. That's it. Okay. Uh, Tommy, Jim and Pam. The Office. Jim, the Office. There we go. You guys are good at this. Uh, Casey, Mr. Big and Carrie. Sex no. and bow, bow, bow. You got it. <laughs> David, Edward Cullen, and Bella Swan. This was mine. I have no idea. Come on. They both know this. Oh. 
I'm so, they both know this. I'm so mad at you right now because the first time I met you, Tom, I said, can you just incorporate some more Twilight vampire trivia? I know. I know. Really? I and you know what? I think if I had started with Tommy like you guys wanted me to, I might have gotten to you, Casey, on that question. But I, it, didn't, it was that not to so be. That was so easy, though. So, David, you didn't get it. It is, ladies, tell him. Twilight, Twilight Saga. Twilight. I didn't get Buffy either. Tommy. <laughs> I know. Tommy. Kate and Sawyer. Kate and Sawyer. Kate Austin and James Sawyer Ford. This is a hard one. It was a TV show. It was a TV show? It was From a TV what, show. Whose generation? It was, it was an, it, I would say it was a 90s TV show, if I'm correct. Maybe it was 2000s. 2000s. Kate and James? Yeah, to, in the 2000s. And it was, um, it was. What channel was it on? I don't even Tom, know. Tom, you don't even know it. It was I one of the last it. great network shows, I think. It was pre, you know. Okay, the answer, put it up there. Lost. Law. Oh, I never no. watched Lost. Oh, Lost, Lost yeah. That was a dumb show. Casey. Ba <laughs> Baby and Johnny. Um, Baby. Um, oh, my God. Oh, yes. Um, I'm looking at it. Uh, oh, my God. They're, don't put baby in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. What is that? Why can't I think of it? Oh, my God. My sister's going to come down and punch me in the face. Two Ds. Two Ds. Dirty dancing. Thank God. Oh, Dirty my God. Dirty dancing. That's oh right. That Nobody puts baby good. in the corner, but we really put you in the corner on that one. That was a tough one. You yeah. knew it, but you couldn't think of the word. Oh, that's that's yours. Good. You got it right. David. Thank you. Right. Oh, how about this? For David. Katniss and Peta. Katniss and Peta. Oh, uh... Uh, uh, the Mockingjay. Uh, oh. oh God, what is it? Why um, didn't you just say Mockingjay? What does it? What that mean? The movie. The movie. I can't <laughs> think of it. We said it earlier. We talked about this. Katniss. It's true. It's true. Uh, I, I, he has dystopian to say dystopian movie. Dystopian you movie. Anything all day. I can't. Oh. I, I I have to have him starving. say the name. <laughs> You're starving. Starving. Ah, uh, um, Hunger Games. Nice. <laughs> I couldn't give him a, I couldn't just, hey, he knew it, but I couldn't say he got it right unless he said the name. Good job, David. Okay. Tommy, Mulder and Scully. Mulder and Scully. David Duchovny. Da, 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 da. Do you know the song, David Duchovny? No. X. I don't know what X. I don't. Is it a show or a movie? It's Mulder and Scully. This was one of the. This was the biggest show. Of the one 90s. of the biggest shows ever. X. Second word. Oh, uh, like probably about. Credenza. Wait, I don't know what this. Actually, I don't know what this is, but it's probably like um, Seinfeld. It was Seinfeld. You got it. You got yes. it. Oh, X no, Files. it's X Files. X Files. <laughs> that is the best. Mulder and Scully from Seinfeld. <laughs> I have no. I didn't watch the X Files. Casey, Casey, Carmela, and Tony. Uh, Sopranos. Ah, there you go, Sopranos. I wasn't allowed to watch it. Oh yeah, you weren't. No, well, I was, was to watch I, it on days. I mean, I I support your parents' decision. David, <laughs> Fran Maxwell, and Sheffield. Sheffield. Oh, I know this. Was this Fran Drescher? Yeah. Fran Dreffer, Drescher played the female lead, and it was... What did she do? It was her job. The name of the show was her job. <laughs> oh, the maid, she was... That is... Oh, this is killing me. David, I know that... you, you know everything except the answer. The name of the show. <laughs> what can I say? Fran Drescher. What was Fran Drescher's show? Oh, it was the maid. She was the maid. She was the housekeeper. I, I got nothing. That is so funny. Yeah, Put, it whiny voice. Put it up there. The nanny. <laughs> Housekeeper nanny. I was close. You were close. <laughs> it's a side okay. swipe. The, uh, this is for Tommy. Holly go lightly. Holly go lightly. And Paul Varjak. Paul Varjak. I thought, I thought you might know. Holly go lightly. She kept the, she kept the perfume in her mailbox. That's right. weird. Um, <laughs> is this a show or a movie? It or is a bad idea. <laughs> it's a movie, Tommy. It's a movie. Holly Go Lightly 
And uh, Paul Varjak, who was a kept man, he was kept by. Uh, Casey, by do you know this? Zero, no idea. I got nope. nothing. Holy, <laughs> holy cow. If nobody knows, that's ridiculous no. that I got this one. It's off. It, it just let's find a new one. Put the title up there. You're all going to read them and weep, guys. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Holy <laughs> go really? lightly. I never oh, saw that. I saw that once. And can I just say hot take? That was like not a good movie. You didn't like it, huh? She had I, a cat, which I liked, but like I didn't get it. Didn't yeah, it was um it's a classic. It's a classic. Yeah. It is a classic, yeah. but I didn't know that. I don't know. The, Casey, Marshall yeah. and Lily. Marshall and Lily. Oh, yeah. Got this one. And as you can see, our, our producers put up the full name, Marshall Erickson and Lily. Lynn and Lily Aldrin. What was this a show or a movie? Show. When? Mommy, mother, we, come on. Even, oh. see, this is the thing. How come I get the ones nobody else does? It's what so does true. Mommy, what does mommy mother mean? How, two I mean, words, mother. David's too generous with the clues. Well, that's because it's us versus you. She didn't get it. What is it? Put it up there. How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother. Oh, see, I didn't watch that show. Tommy. Dang it. This is, uh, I, I hope you know this one, but I don't know. It's definitely not of your generation. Oh, Archie, Archie <laughs> and mind. Edith. Tommy, Archie and Edith. Ah, oh, come on. The greatest show ever. Archie and Edith. Yeah, Beavis and Butthead? Ah! Dean Stapleton. <laughs> That's the best. Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> the only show ever to have a <laughs> number one spinoff that I mentioned earlier. All in the family? Nope. Don't know oh, that. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Family. Uh, I couldn't right, give that it. one to David, but I'm, I, okay. I'm not giving clues. I'm putting. Here we go. Now Casey. you can't see my eyes. Casey, Luke and Lorelai. Oh, I know this. Come on, you know this. Was that her name, Lorelai? Is it Star Wars? Yeah. Come on, can I do it? Tell me what is it? Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. You watch that. Chick flick. <laughs> Good job, guys. What's the score? I feel like this is going to be interesting. Oh, no, it's Padme. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars what? reference. There you go. We had... Uh, Tom, oh, Tommy and... Oh, wow. What about... Uh, I'm, I'm talking to my producers now. They're putting up the... David has we six... Hi, Casey. I They're thought David nine. did really well. So we have to have a tiebreaker then. Uh, do I even have it? I, I uh, do I, getting there, close to seven o'clock. Do you have a single extra question you can ask? <laughs> is, <laughs> there, is there a tiebreaker? Can you come up with a question from 1992 on that can break the yeah. tie? <laughs> I could, uh, let's see. I'm going to open up because. My producer, Rich, sent me some practice questions for yesterday that I didn't use. So I'm going to open them up. I know the answer. Can I go? This one's what? too hard, easy, dopey. This one's yeah, I, I was going to say it. But... No, you said dope. I heard you say dopey. Uh, no, okay. Okay. Happy so birthday. It's between the two of you, right? But yeah. we, know, we both know the one that and we both said it. So Yeah, so uh, this is a write it down for the two of you. Okay? Oh, write it, so down? write it down? Yeah. Okay, but you have to do a new question because we already, we already answered dopey. Yep. <laughs> Happy, we are both wrong. <laughs> I guess we're both wrong. Who but wrote you know the famous he happy? Who wrote the famous short story, The Telltale Heart? Write it down. The Telltale Heart. Oh, that's easy. Tell us what we can say. No, I don't know because I remember right. it in high school. Ready? Whoa! I literally remember reading it. I lose. It's okay. Tom yes! had it down. Edgar Allan Poe. It was the that beating of his heart. That drove me crazy. I what do thought I get? Of that do because... I get a cake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are for Tommy. I'm working outside, and there's looking like no cake coming for Tommy. <laughs> so, when's your birthday? So that looks like David. August eleventh with... is my birthday, actually. My birthday is in two weeks. Oh, We're that's both Leos. That's why we like each other. So, so I'm expecting a cake, Tom. <laughs> Tommy with fourteen, Casey with thirteen, and David with six. But I was really mean to you, David, because. I think most of the questions 
that I gave to Tommy and Casey, David knew the answer to because, you know, Rolling Stones, uh, David Bowie. <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, judging. Know, I'm stuff. guessing yeah. a pattern here. I'm seeing yeah. a pattern. All right, yeah. here we go. Uh, I make it difficult. Guys, we were what a the party we had here. As far as camaraderie. Yeah, we did, we did great. Right. You guys worked together. Uh, you gave it your all in the, uh, the the charades round. So I just think it was, I think this was a great happy hour. And I hope you had a happy birthday, Casey. I did. So much fun. Guys, this is what happens. I know Tommy has to go walk her dog. Mm -hmm. Do we have a graphic that says Tommy won or anything? Did anyone I mean, give anything up? It, uh, you know, how about that graphic, the happy birthday graphic with the fingers? Uh, you know, we can put that up. <laughs> you, you know what? I'm going to call this Casey's risky business birthday <laughs> in honor of Casey with the champagne and the glasses. I love it. And we deal in human fulfillment. Aw, you're a nice man, David. All right. There we go. Happy there. birthday, Casey. And congratulations to Tommy and David. He's he's really a winner because the guys already had three cocktails and we're not even out of the show yet. Oh, you haven't see what's behind me? It's a long night ahead. <laughs> oh boy. Guys, this was great. And I guess I should plug because according to the theme of our show, uh, I'm gonna plug it one more time. Watch American icons on Fox Nation. And we should come back for Tommy's birthday. Yes. Oh, I wouldn't mind it. We're going to be doing birthday. these every, we do these every two weeks and we have a great time. So thanks for being here. And we always we get a great audience. Thanks birthday. to you guys. And thanks to the, uh, the can we also do one Nation. with that is all Bravo or E? Yeah. You know what? Bravo E. I would not mind that one. I would not mind doing that. I'll come, I can come up with the questions for that one. With all the questions. But, but we need to get people who are equally as good at that stuff as you guys are. You know, if it were me and David against you guys and Bravo, I mean, I wouldn't know anything. Me I don't know. Either. I can't tell a real housewife from a, you know, uh, whatever. A fake housewife. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. You've got time. Yeah, it does. I don't, I don't know is. anything in the 1970s either. You can't always get what you want. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you, guys. Happy birthday. Thank Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.